In the last chapter, Sophia and Nopra were about to visit Compton to find Jesse. If they don't find the citizen, they will not be able to avoid the chaos in Compton. How will they get there? What are the best restaurants in Compton? Will they give this dude a ride? Well, they should because he just got fired on his day off. This story is brought to you by Welcome to the West Side, Chapter 1. Nopro wanted to continue the adventure because Sophia would not stop running her mouth on the side of the road. To check out this chapter, click the link in the description box below. And by Welcome to the West Side, Chapter 2. Yeah, without Chapter 1, there is no way Sophia would get a Chapter 2. It's math, so stay in school. To find out what happens in this chapter, click the link in the description box. We have to get to Compton by following the signs, because this is what we learned in school, said Sophia. Sophia surveyed the area, and she was shocked. There were no signs anywhere. Where are all of the signs? said Sophia. They gone, said no Oprah. How is this possible? Did a storm blow all of the signs away? said Sophia. No, the citizens of Compton removed all of the signs, said Nopra. Why did they do that? said Sophia. Because one day one dude was tired of going to work for his boss, so he went outside and removed all the signs. Then he called his boss and told him that he could not find the business because all the signs were gone. After that, all of the citizens of Compton did the same thing, and this triggered the great we ain't going to do nothing era in Compton. Even the bosses do not want to be bosses anymore because they had no employees, said Nopra. Well, if there are no signs, how will we find Jesse and Compton? said Sophia. Don't worry about that, Sophia. I have street smarts. It helps me find stuff. With street smarts, you can find Waldo with ease, said Nopra. Let's use this street smarts to find Jesse and Compton, said Sophia. Nopra paces on the streets. She sniffed the air, uses her phone, so owned, uh, and pulls up a GPS. Then she had an answer for Sophia. Jesse's house is right over there, said Nopra. What? Why did you do all of that nonsense for? said Sophia. It was not nonsense. I just left Jesse's house before I found you. I used my phone to find a Chili's because I'm hungry, said Nopra. So Jesse stays here. It's near Enchantia, said Sophia. Yeah, the Princess of Compton rules Compton. That was a law that some dude made many years ago. Since Jesse beat me, she is now the ruler of Compton, but she fails to rule the city properly. This is why her house is way out here, said Nopra. Sophia got a map, and she discovered something. Jesse's house is on the Compton and the royal property line, said Sophia. Yes, and according to the laws of Compton, when a house of a princess is on two lands, the owner of that house rules both lands, said Nopra. This means that Jesse is a princess like me. Well, let's go tell Jesse, said Sophia. Stop. You can't step on Jesse's property, said Nopra. Why, said Sophia. Because she has the ultimate security system that includes 101 Compton pit bulls. They are 101 times worse than the 101 Dalmatians, said Nopra. How will Sophia and Nopra get past the 101 pit bulls? Find out in the next chapter. If you like this chapter and you want more chapters like this, like, share, and subscribe.